Hey everybody, I'm back. I've uh, been fishing a lot around the Loch Nine Dam in Philo, Ohio. Um, getting off work, I work very, very close to that Loch Nine Dam. So I also fish during my lunch break because the river is by the substation that we're working in. So uh, in this clip here, this is just me. I'm kind of looking around the dam. And uh, I'm, I know this is probably illegal that I'm climbing up on top of this, but I was... Uh, wanting to explore, but in hindsight it probably wasn't the best idea. Me climbing the dam would be the least of the police's problems around here. Uh, the substation I'm working in gets broken into, I kid you not, every single weekend. Uh, they're stealing stuff from the substation. Uh, there's also rampant vandalism around here. Uh, there's a bunch of AEP property that people run wild on and destroy stuff. So if you're going to fish here, keep close tabs in your car. I've fished in the ghetto of Youngstown, and I've been less weary of leaving my car uh, parked somewhere and getting it broken into than I am here. So that's something to keep in mind, but I'm going to try keeping this intro quick. Um, it's been my goal to pull a big flathead out of the Muskingum River ever since I started my job down here. Um, I said in my last video we should be done around June. However, I didn't realize that June was just when our scheduled outages in the substation would be over. So we might be here until September. Um, by the time we get the rest of our work done. But anyway, I'm fishing uh, just a sinker and a hook in a hot dog online, um, trying to catch a big flathead, but I get totally ransacked by turtles. Uh, I've caught a couple turtles in my lifetime, but not at the rate that I am here. They're everywhere just downstream of the Loch Nine Dam here. Um, so anyway, this has been an interesting trip, and you're going to watch it progress. This is... Uh... Pretty much as close to the life as it gets. Fishing on lunch break. Gorgeous area. Beach. Everything. Just a nice. This is actually a uh, filed down log, which is really neat. But you got me some Chipotle. Got my line out. Get a hot dog on the end. Hoping, hoping to get a uh, flathead. But we'll see what happens. That's a common problem here. Um, I'll get a take like that. Fishing in a new spot, I, I'll cast over just some underwater structure that I can't see, and I'll go to reel it in, and I'll just instantly get tangled up on that structure. That would have been a big fish. I know that would have been a big fish. It was half of a hot dog. And I also had an entire bluegill get taken and got hung up just like I did right there. So switch my cast area so hopefully we're gonna have a little bit better luck but that was a little bit depressing so we'll get another one <laughs> no way. Look at this. Blue Jay trying to make a uh, nest out of the trash bay. Little small cat. Whoa. Little guy.
I am on number three for lunch. Not bad. According to this. And it is a turtle. Lo and behold. Whoa, he bit my. There he goes. <laughs> Feels like a chunkier one on. Oh, oh, no way. No way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Catch of the day right there, boys. Definitely got something, but it feels like a snag behind a tree. Oh, there it is. I have to say, it got it almost frustrating catching these turtles, oh, but they put up a heck of a fish. fight. Uh, just being it's flat like fish. they are, and they like to hold oh, on to yeah. the bottom. They're some strong turtles, and they are very fast, too, as you're going to see. But they do, they put up a heck of a fight, and it is a fun time catching them, even if you're not trying to. Oh, it's a big snapping turtle. <laughs> Another turtle. Oh. Look at the size of this bad boy. All right. Another snake. Another. This is like the fifth or sixth, I don't even know, today. I can tell this is another turtle. All right, right now, this is another freaking turtle. Since this guy basically has got this hook down his throat, I have to cut the line on him. Took this one almost instantly. Oh my gosh, another turtle! <laughs> Look at this guy. Big one. Let's get that hook out of there. There he goes, look at that. Mad dash. <laughs> I got me a fish this time. Where's the channel cat? One. So as you can see this turtle is hooked in the neck and I don't want to damage his windpipe or anything or vertebrae by unhooking him so I just cut the line. Um, he should be fine but remember I'm not targeting turtles I don't want to have to unhook them like that.
I'd much rather it be in a big mouth of a flathead catfish where it's not going to do damage. But the turtles seem to really like hot dogs and bologna. So anyway, we'll continue with the video. broken. There we go. I'm on what feels like a turtle. Oh, God. And I'm off of what felt like a turtle. Is that recording? Come on. Text message. Oh, I am stuck on something. Now, if you watch, here's my technique I tried using. I'm going to let it run a little bit and get away from that structure. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling high, and I'm going to try to get it over. If you notice my rod tip, watch how it starts to violently jiggle. Um, if you've ever pulled mine over a log, I mean, that's exactly what was going on right there. So I managed to clear the structure, and now uh, I wonder what could be on the other end of this line. Just uh, if you want to take bets, anybody? You guys take a guess what this one is? There is another turtle. Look at this guy. It's freaking big. That's a big turtle. Now as this turtle runs away, uh, after that last one took off, like a bolt of lightning, I decided I would record on my super slow-mo function of my phone camera. So, it's kind of neat watching them. <laughs> a little floppy and a little less than graceful. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to continue to fish this river until this job here ends. And hopefully, my next job, I will be near another river or somewhere to fish. Uh, until next time.